In the back of that van is one of our Enigma machines and it has to go to headquarters Germany, Buckyburg, and you are taking it. I said, oh, and they said, and if you have to use this, use it. And they handed me a pistol and a box of ammunition. And they said, if you have to use it, don't hesitate, but your instructions are, get it there. Anyway, we got the right, no bother. But the following day, coming back, the battery packed in, and uh, I thought, well, I don't stop in Hamburg with a dead battery, so we pulled into the first RAF camp we came to, and they just flatly refused to help me, didn't want to know me. So we came on, eventually, we came to an army camp, and uh, I was in uniform as a warrant officer, so we went in there and I found the boss, I said, excuse me, but I said, I've got a dud battery and I don't risk going through Hamburg with it and I've got 200 miles to go. Can you help me? They said, yes, we'll find you one. So they very kindly found me a new battery and fitted it for me. And we went off and that was all right. Well, a bit further along, the throttle control spring broke. And we got no control over the engine. I said, well, I don't know what we do. And we kept going and we came to a village and I saw a lady's shop and I had a flash for inspiration. I said, stop. And I bashed in. I said, have you got some elastic about so wide, please? And she gave me a card of elastic and we came back and we fortunately, we were able to wind it around the... Um, cut the spring anchorages round and round and round and tied it off and I did 200 miles across Germany on a piece of elastic. And, and what year was this, Bill? Oh, um, about 1960, I think. Right. Well anyway, done. We did this across Germany with this piece of elastic. I thought, well, that was a, that was a bit of bright thinking. <laughs>